else know about your memory coming back? Not really. I tried telling. Wait, um, but you, you didn't? No, but... No, honey. Absolutely not. Zip it. And keep it zipped. Yeah, but how can I go on pretending that I don't remember anything? Sweetheart, you inherited the familial talent for misdirection. Besides, you've done it before. Yeah, but not like this. I mean, pretending that I'm so sorry for all the bad things that bad old Esme did. Right. And you don't really feel bad about it. I mean, I did. I mean, when I didn't remember anything, I was horrified. But now that I remember why I did it and how it felt so justified, it was because it was justified. Exactly. So just keep telling them exactly what they want to hear. You've made a fresh start. And now you are a different person. Yeah, but where does that get me? I mean, I'm still a single mom, Alexis Davis's drudge, and a witness to Spencer and Trina's insipid happily ever after. And I'm unable to do a thing about it. Forget those torps. You were always way too good for Spencer anyway. You won. You got ace, and that's everything. You've still got the upper hand. So don't blow it by admitting that you got your memory back. You're a really good mother to Ace, right? Yeah, I am. Okay, then just keep up the charade for his sake. And be sure to practice a little self-care. <laughs> What, like a spa day? No, like you're young and you're beautiful, smart as a friggin' whip. Go put on a party dress and get out there. Maybe you'll meet somebody new. It's New Year's Eve. Meet somebody who's worthy of you. Come and see your mother again. It'll help you keep your head on straight. Keep your memories to Self. As much as I'd love to see more of you, you have way too bright of a future to squander it in this place. I will. Thank you. Anytime. It was a pleasure to finally meet my daughter. <laughs>